helping hand. Aria, are you okay? You seemed a bit down today. Yeah, Anna. I'm just feeling a little overwhelmed. I see you and your mom are gathering wood again. Are you helping her out? Yeah, we're collecting wood from the forest. Mom says it's cheaper than using other sources. Must be tough having to gather wood all the time. Yeah, it's not easy. But we've gotten used to it. Mom works so hard to make sure we have enough for cooking and lighting. It's a bit tiring, though. I can imagine. Is there a reason you don't have regular electricity like most people? It's mostly because we can't afford it. Wood is a more affordable option, even if it's harder work. I'm really sorry to hear that. It must be challenging. And I've noticed that you don't have many clothes either. Is there anything I can do to help? Yeah, it's been a struggle. My family can't afford good clothes, so I wear whatever I have. Honestly, I'm used to it by now. But thank you for offering to help. You know, my friends and I have been talking, and we really want to help you out. Oh, I don't want to be a burden or anything. But that's really kind of you and your friends to even consider helping. Don't worry about being a burden. We genuinely want to help. That's incredibly generous of you all. We're thinking of putting together a care package for you and your family, some groceries, clothes, and maybe even some blankets for the cold nights. Would that be okay? I'm honestly speechless. If you're really willing to do that, it would mean the world to us. We'll start organizing things and collect what we can. Thank you, really. You're restoring my faith in kindness and friendship. You don't have to thank us. We're just doing what friends do, supporting each other. Unfulfilled love. Hi there, I'll have my usual green juice, please. Of course. One green juice coming right up. Thank you. Thank you, madam. You know, I've been coming here for a while now. And I have to say, your juices are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. It's like you have a magical touch with fruits and veggies. I'm glad you enjoy them. I've always been passionate about creating delicious and nutritious blends. You know, every time I come here, I can't help but be impressed by your creativity and business sense. Your ideas are truly something special. Honestly, your dedication to your work and your entrepreneurial spirit really inspires me. You're not like anyone I've ever met before. I'm honored that you think so highly of me. I just do what I love, you know? I have to admit something. I've developed feelings for you. Your passion and drive are so attractive, and I feel a connection between us. Wow, that's unexpected. I'm really flattered, and I genuinely enjoy our interactions, but I think it's important to be honest. The truth is, I come from a different background, and I'm not as well off as you are. I understand where you're coming from. I wouldn't let something like money stand in the way of my happiness. It's not about the money, really. It's about the differences in our lifestyles, values, and experiences. I can see your point. It's just that I've never met anyone like you before. You've opened my eyes to a whole new world of possibilities. And you've been a great source of inspiration for me as well. I'm really glad we've gotten to know each other. Thank you for being honest with me. But I hope you find someone who can make you truly happy. Someone who can give you everything you deserve. I'll cherish the moments we've shared, even if they don't lead to a romantic relationship. 
And hey, you're always welcome here for some amazing juice and good company. Hygiene. Well, dear, how was your outing with your friend today? It was really fun, Grandma. We went out during lunchtime and had some delicious watermelon juice. Oh, that sounds lovely. Watermelon juice can be quite refreshing, especially on a warm day. But you know, sweetheart, we have to be careful about hygiene too. Hygiene? What do you mean, Grandma? Well, you see, when we're out and about, it's important to make sure the food and drinks we consume are prepared and handled in a clean and safe manner. Sometimes, when juices are made in places we're not familiar with, there might be concerns about the water they use or how they wash the fruits. Oh, I never really thought about that. The juice bar looked clean, though. That's good to know, dear. But it's always a good practice to be mindful of such things. Washing fruits thoroughly before consuming or even peeling them can help reduce the risk of any contamination. I understand, Grandma. I'll be more careful next time and maybe ask more questions about how things are prepared. That's my clever girl. It's not about avoiding all the fun, but just being aware of the little things that can help keep us healthy. Thank you for the advice, Grandma. I'll definitely keep that in mind from now on. You're welcome, sweetheart. Cleanliness. Kids, the food is ready. Grandma, we learned about the importance of cleanliness today. That's wonderful. Cleanliness is indeed very important in life. It keeps us healthy and comfortable. Did they talk about keeping your surroundings clean too? Yes, Mom. We learned that keeping our room and our school area clean. It helps prevent diseases and makes everyone feel better. Yes, Mom. Absolutely right. And you know, speaking of cleanliness, it's important to brush your teeth before sleeping. It keeps your teeth strong and your breath fresh. I remember that, Grandma. I always make sure to brush before bed. That's my responsible girl. Also, try to avoid eating outside foods that aren't covered properly. I know, Grandma. It's safer to eat things prepared at home to prevent any tummy troubles. Mom always packs my lunch so I can have a healthy meal at school. Your mom is doing a great job. And remember, being friendly with your classmates is important too. Having good friends makes your school days enjoyable. I have lots of friends, Grandma. We play together and help each other with our schoolwork. That's lovely to hear. Lastly, try not to get angry over silly things. Keeping a calm mind helps you handle situations better. I'm still working on that one, Grandma. Sometimes things just make me so mad. It's okay, dear. It's something we all need to practice. Just take a deep breath and think before reacting. It will help you in the long run. Thanks, Grandma. You always give the best advice. These are all important life lessons, and I'm glad we could talk about them today. Me too, Grandma. I love our talks. Always remember that Grandma is here for you. Cheering you on every step of the way. I know, Grandma. Love you too. Planning a trip. Hey Mike, I was thinking we should plan a trip to Mount Rainier. That sounds awesome. I've seen some amazing pictures on Instagram. And it looks like a great adventure. When are you thinking of going? I was thinking next month, around the second weekend.
Hey guys, sorry we're late. No worries, Jane. What's this about planning a trip? Hey Jane, Sarah. We're planning to go on the second weekend of next month. That sounds incredible. I'd love to join. Tom and I were just discussing that we need to be prepared for the weather changes. The weather and terrain can be unpredictable. We'll need proper hiking gear, sturdy boots, and warm clothing. And don't forget about the camping gear. We might want to spend a night or two there. Perfect. I've got some experience with hiking. So, I can help with planning the routes and trails. That sounds great, Jane. It's good to have someone with experience in the group. And I'll make sure we have enough energy bars and snacks to keep us going. Plus, I can help organize the food and make sure we have a variety of meals for everyone. That sounds great, Sarah. Food is definitely a key part of the adventure. Let's start looking into the specific trails and camping spots. I'll research the best routes for us. Perfect. Let's all pitch in with our expertise to make this an unforgettable trip. This is going to be epic, guys. Can't wait to explore, capture stunning photos, and make memories together. Thank you for watching. If you like videos like this, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to 2 Minute English channel for more videos.